Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So right now I'm just in my cheap BMW E91 318D that I unfortunately bought from Birmingham. A couple of days ago, I took this car for an MOT, it had various different issues, control arms, exhaust, a couple of little issues there. But one of the problems was, was with regarding four of the bulbs. So both of the side markers, the side indicators, if you like, that sit in the wings, both of them were out. And also the side lights or parking lights in the headlights themselves, both of those bulbs were out. Now, do I think it's a bulb issue? I would be very surprised if it was. It's not typical for all four bulbs to go out at once. So I'm thinking it's probably an electrical issue, possibly, you know, something to do with the wiring somewhere or possibly something to do with a module. Now, I know that the FRM, the footwell module in these cars controls all of the lighting systems and it is a common problem for it to go bad. So I'm thinking that's more than likely what the issue is. Although I don't have a lot of experience when it comes to this problem. So I'm actually gonna take my car over to my good friend Jazz at Midlands Vehicle Diagnostics. I've worked with him before if you guys saw the video from probably two years ago where we worked on the BMW E60. He updated the iDrive to the latest firmware, updated the maps as well. That all worked um, so, so smoothly. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna try and get to the bottom of the issue today. And yeah, it'd be good to catch up with him and see what he's been up to lately. And um, yeah, hopefully, like I said, we can get to the bottom of what the issue is. So do stay tuned. We'll check in when we are at Jazz's place. So then here we are again. Jazz, how's it going? Oh, are you all right? Long it's been time, a long, see. A very long time. We're glad Wait, to see you again. Two years, was it? Since yeah, last yeah. Senior? 2021. Uh, we did again. your maps, wasn't it? And the, that and was the head it. unit, yes. Um, that was on the E60, the 5 Series, wasn't it? The 5 it? Series on the yeah, E Series, yeah. Now we're back with a, an E91 3 Series. Slightly different problem today, but yes. hopefully we can get to the bottom of things. Yeah, so definitely. See how we go. And I see you've uh, set things up again. Yeah. So. so yeah, this is uh, obviously just a uh, just flash charger. It's a battery charger support unit, so it just maintains the voltage uh, of the battery within the car. Obviously, these, you don't want the voltage to drop while you're doing no, it. No, sort no, of These cars are prone to uh, having the FRM fail anywhere on them, and obviously that's one of the issues that we're going to be looking at today. But um, even when we're coding and programming, we don't want any of the uh, modules to go voltage to drop. It'll just brick them uh, and cause more issues. So we keep it on a steady charge. This will be doing 13 and a half volts. Um, and we're all hooked up, ready to, ready to rumble. Okay, let's do it. So I guess first things first, starting off with the scan with uh, ISTA, is that right? Yep, yeah, with ISTA, uh, making sure um, we've got communication with the car, which we have. It's given us all the details um, for the vehicle, so VIN number, the development code, so E91 is this, um, 318D, etc. Tells us about the uh, engine and stuff like that. Um, and also the Isle of Electro, so that's the software version throughout the car. Um, and also gives us a production date, construction dates just there. So it gives us a little bit about the car. It's just doing uh, some tests on it. We'll go into the um, control unit tree and have a look at what the fault codes are stored and then um, have a look up on them and see where we're gonna go from there. Okay, so control unit tree, how are we looking then? Yeah, no so dead modules? No, nothing's dead at the moment. Um, the ones in yellow show that there's um, an ECU with, with a fault in there. So currently the IHK, which is the control, uh, climate control panel, the FRM, which uh, looks after all the electrics, and then the DDE, which is the engine control module there. So we'll uh, quickly display the fault memory, which is just here. So it tells us obviously fault codes, description of that fault code, so the mileage is when it was stored in, and if it's currently existent or not. So uh, we've got 11. Um, so for the DDE or the engine control module, uh, they're gonna be these first few here. Um, so the electric fan, cylinder or injector one, two and three. Um, and the brake vacuum sensor on there. So we'll uh, we'll have a look at them, see what they come up with. Some of them will come up as no, so there could be previous faults from before. But looking at the mileage, they may have popped up uh, on some regular drives recently. So we'll, we'll see what they are. RHKA, which is a climate control panel, ventilation flat motor. So that'll just be one of the flat motors within the uh, climate um, fans. It's probably just stopped working. Um, so we'll have a look at that. And then the FRM. Which I think has given us some of our faults today. So short circuit front door contacts. Currently saying no, 
but it looks like it's come up quite recently on there um, in terms of the mileage that we've got and also the side markers left and right faulty. And those are the two that we're most concerned about today. That's the two that we really want to get fixed if possible. Yeah, so from what you were saying, George, they're not working at all, are they? So no. there's no nothing coming out of them at all um, yeah. and also the side markers as well which it's strange not actually showing a fault for them they are showing the side marker lights as the faulty ones left and right it's just not showing the drls as ah oh, right yes that's right actually yeah you're right yeah. there so uh, that's that's what we'll be looking at and then if the side lights themselves or the drls what they will be are not working we'll have a we'll have a look into them as well but i think from what you said to me someone's already played around with the it looks like someone's room. definitely been in there yeah trim yeah. piece has been broken yeah. and yeah various things not where they should be so and there's a potential vin mismatch so it could be that this module has been changed in the past by someone um so we'll investigate that see if the vins match up based on what modules we have in the car and we'll use another program uh, which is imper uh, shortly to see what the vins are and how they match up yeah so uh, this is just the list of these using an imper showing the ZB numbers, um, the the value of the state uh, states of the ECU, so which is okay just there, and then obviously the date that they were last programmed or, or or done. So you can see this is just from from factory. There's been no other updates on there. This will show you normally a VIN number. Some modules have them, some don't. So it's showing obviously the DME is showing the right VIN number for the car. It's not showing one for the FRM. So I'm just going to interrogate that a little bit more. Check the ZB number. Make sure the part numbers match up, just in case someone has replaced the FRM at some point. Um, during its lifetime. The only thing that's different really compared to these is uh, a couple of the other modules with the FRM being 16th of the 12th 2009 which should match up with that if there was nothing newer to everything else is about 2010 on there but we'll check the parts list in check the previous parts and we'll go from there. So now we're just in NTS expert. Yep that's what we're doing now so we've got all the details of the vehicle up here uh, we've chosen the right chassis um, and uh, we've gone into and chosen the CAS module because we believe that'll be the most original car uh, original module on this car and we're just gonna code uh, the NFRM um, so our part is the FRM underscore 70 that's what it showed us on um, on Impa when we were looking at it so we're just going to code that up and uh, fingers crossed uh, George won't be sat here overnight with no lights <laughs> and no wipers but we'll uh, we'll see what this does now oh well, wish us luck okay. lights are still on there we go oh. that's fine lighting system fault oh dear positive is it's plus one degrees outside <laughs> All right, we'll quickly go back into um, and read the fault codes now. So, we've got a bit of a problem, haven't we? It's not my fault, not my fault. <laughs> no. So, it looks like the FRM has half gone down. So, we've still got headlights on the front. We've got uh, the rear third brake light. Um, rear windows are working still the on the electrics on the back, but the front ones aren't. And we've still got the interior lights as well. So, um I think the FRM is going to be faulty. We're going to get it replaced um, and changed for the right one. The other thing is it could be, this is shown as an FRM 3. It might be an FRM 2, so I'll check. Yeah, the, I think there's a good chance it, you know, it could have been replaced, but just for yeah. the incorrect one. Yeah, so we've, um, we'll, we'll check that again against BMW systems based on the VIN, um, just to be on the safe side. And then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. And if it's shown that it should be an FRM 2, that'll be the reason why uh, it doesn't like it and it didn't like the coding that we've put on. But so, uh, for the time being, you've got lights to get home. You should yep. be okay. Um, to, be, to, to be resumed. To be resumed, yes. <laughs> In a lot of lighter conditions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okie doke. So we're back a few days later. Yes. Do you want to explain what's, what's been going on? Yes, so last time we had the obviously the other module in, which we thought maybe um, the wrong one for the car. So after the coding of that module, the module went down altogether. We didn't have any communication with it. After doing the check uh, against uh, BMW parts, that part number was never listed for this vehicle. We actually have the original one here. Yeah. So this was an LED basis one, yep. wasn't it? Yep. And then the one that we've put in is a Max Bros. Um, obviously a different part number altogether, but we checked all of the supersessions of the part from the original one that came from factory all the way up to the newest one from I think it's 2015 or 2017 and that number on that LED basis doesn't match up with anything so I believe that was the reason why um, the coding failed and it caused the um, module to go down so what we've got now is a 
the latest part number, isn't it now, George? Yeah, it is, so we've got yeah. the latest part number for this vehicle. I think it runs up to 2016, something That's like that. That's the one, yeah. Um, so we've popped that one in um, and we're getting side markers now. So we weren't getting side markers before with the old module in. Yeah. Uh, but now we've got the side markers working, but we're still having uh, a fault for the parking lights, uh, yeah. front and left. So they're in the dash. So we'll quickly have a peruse through on here, vehicle status, and just down here, there's three faults. Parking light, front left, front right, and then a brake light left failure. Uh, we've had a look at the brake light left, and it just looks very dim, so it might just need changing out. So we're gonna do that anyway, aren't we, George? Yeah. So we'll get that sorted. And also with the parking lights, front and left, I've done a bit of a test on them. So we've uh, undone the uh, cover on the back, two screws for the parking lights, uh, Torx T15s. We've unscrewed them, popped out the bulb and the connector. Um, and I've done a test to see which is positive and negative on the uh, actual uh, plug side from the from the vehicle side. And then uh, I've put uh, 12 volts with a, with a ground on the light and it's not lighting up. So we're thinking that the actual lights or the bulbs themselves have failed. Um, and I've also checked the actual plug side and there's 12 volts definitely coming to the plug so uh, we know that there's no power issue there so it probably is a coincidence that both, both yeah the, the left and the right have both failed at the same time yep yep so we're, we'll uh, we'll get those bulbs in pop them in and they should just light straight up uh, and you should get no uh, no errors on the dash from there but uh, what we're going to do now is because obviously this module that we've got is um, from a different vehicle we are going to uh, get it coded in uh, with the right VIN and all the option codes obviously that come with this car uh, just in case it's any different from anything else but from plugging it in everything seems like it's working as it should so you've got your high beams windows working side markers indicators everything like that is working as it should we're just going to code it up just make sure it's all bob on and we'll go from there. So this time, coding was successful, wasn't it? Yes, was all successful, no issues. Obviously we've done like we did before, we had the charger on on the front just to maintain the voltage, just so it doesn't drop, etc. That is what bricks the modules, it isn't does, it? If it you does. have a drop in yeah. voltage while coding. Exactly that, and I think on this occasion with that other module, I just don't think it liked the coding for what it should have been, obviously for that module. It's not it's not the right coding, so it's it's thrown a bit of a hissy fit and decided to uh, to go. But um, that module can be repaired. Um, we've got the tools to repair it, so uh, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do with that for you anyway, George, and we'll, uh, we'll have that sent back to you. Mm. So uh, you've got a spare one then. You can use it for any <laughs> other cars that you're getting. Yeah. Um, it's always gonna be worth using. So yeah, I think we're golden on that. Well then, there we go. We should have now gotten to the bottom of the issue with regards to the lights not working on this car. So I was kind of in the right area when I was thinking the fact that four bulbs couldn't be out at the same time, that would be too much of a coincidence. The side markers, obviously that was an issue with the FRM. The two front side lights though, that was actually a case of both of the bulbs just being out. So that's very surprising. I guess the previous owner didn't want to replace them. I have got new bulbs in order, so it will be installing them once they arrive. But yeah, that FRM that was in was the incorrect one for the car. So that's why things were not working as they should. Of course, we now have the correct one in. That's all been coded up and everything is now working perfect. So like I said, I could not do this myself. So massive thanks to Jazz over at Midlands Vehicle Diagnostics. Like I say, guys, if you have any issues with your car, it doesn't even have to be a BMW. He covers a massive wide range of vehicle makes and models. So yeah, just get in touch with them. I'll leave all of his le I'll leave all of his details down in the description box below. Um, he is based in Derby in the Midlands, but he does uh, travel out as well. So yeah, get in touch with him if you have any issues. Um, but yeah, hopefully. Now we are on the road to getting this car through its MOT. A few more mechanical jobs left to do, of course. Um, so over the next couple of days, I'm gonna hopefully work through them. But yeah, glad that this issue is fixed because this is the one that I was the most worried about. But yeah, I wanna thank you all for watching anyway. Please remember to give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I will see you all in that next one.